Hey everyone and welcome back to That Was History. In the wake of the events that happened last week in Newtown, Connecticut, our hearts go out to the victims' families and all of those that were affected by this disaster. This actually weighs heavily with two of the stories that we have for you today, so be sure to stick around. The United States of America is based on the idea of freedom and the pursuit of happiness. The Founding Fathers developed this nation on a set of principles known as the United States Constitution. On December 15th of 1791, the first ten amendments to this Constitution, known as the Bill of Rights, were ratified. These rights were proposed by James Madison and voted into law by a three-fourths vote among the states at the time. The Bill of Rights protect liberty and freedom such as freedom of speech, religion, as well as the right to bear arms. While the previous story was all about the freedoms and rights that America represents, these rights were not always in place. Before the American Revolution, America was constantly being persecuted and abused by England. One such form of abuse from England came in the form of taxes. In response to these new tax laws, a rebellion was formed by some of America's finest and would be known as the Boston Tea Party that was held on December 16th of 1773. Basically, American colonists boarded three ships that were filled with taxed tea and dumped them into the harbor. This was representation of their dissatisfaction with the new Tea Act that was implemented by the English king. So I've been on countless flights before, and I just haven't ever sat down to take the time to think about how it was made possible. I mean, it's so simple nowadays. You buy your ticket, you go through the airport procedures, and you're pretty much on your way to your destination. Well, on December 17th of 1903, Orville and Wilbur Wright made the first man-powered airplane flight near Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Their machine was referred to as an airship and could fly up to 10 miles per hour. Today, if you think about it, we've come so far in air travel with planes traveling up to 600 miles per hour or more. Man has always tried to find a connection between ape and man. This is the backbone of evolutionary theory, and if proven, it would once and for all settle the question of where man came from. Well, on December 18th of 1912, the Piltdown Man was discovered and was believed to be the missing link between ape and man. It was discovered in Sussex, England in the Piltdown Gravel Pit. Charles Dawson is credited with the discovery of the Piltdown Man, but in 1953, at an International Congress of Paleontologists, it was decided that the Piltdown Man is actually a fraud. It was later confirmed to be a mixture of both human and ape bones. During the expansion years of civilization, the boundaries of countries were constantly changing. In today's society, boundaries are fairly constant. On December 19th of 1984, however, Hong Kong would become part of Communist China once again. Up until this point, Hong Kong had been under British rule for over 155 years. Interestingly enough, China agreed to a one-country, two-system policy that would allow Hong Kong to keep their capitalistic economy. In the event of war, military officials might institute a draft in which able-bodied men might be called upon to serve. This includes celebrities. If they call you, you must serve. I mentioned celebrities because on December 20th of 1957, Elvis Presley received his draft notice in the mail by the United States Army. So even if you're famous, you're not immune to serving your country. Okay, somebody give me a five letter word for the expression over my dead body. Anyone? Right now you might just be thinking that I'm asking you a random question, but this is actually from a crossword puzzle that comes published in your daily paper. But have you ever wondered where the first one was created? On December 21st of 1913, a journalist from Liverpool, Arthur Wynn, published the first crossword puzzle ever in the New York world. And if it wasn't for him, this luxury would not be available. Well, that's our seven stories for this week, guys. We hope that you enjoyed it and learned something new. Be sure to come back next week when we have a new episode on Friday. All right, we'll see you later, guys. Please follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and also subscribe to our channel so you can get the weekly update.